is your girl Anna Christine and I wanted to see what would happen if we got close to Natsuki instead of Yuri in the Doki Doki Literature, Literature Club. But first, shout out to the folks over at Amino for sponsoring this video. It's this really awesome place where a lot of different people can get together for different communities and different fandoms of different things that exist. There's basically a community for anything, almost anything that you can imagine. Like for example, some of the things that I am a part of, a Sally Face Amino, Pretty Little Liars Amino, where you get to see all the hot guys from the PLL. There's even an I Christine fan club in the Amino app. Just to join a new Amino, you just click that little box to join an Amino. You can search anything. You can even search Doki Doki Literature Club. And there's an Amino right there. You even got like a cute Monica and a cute little Santa dress to greet you and possibly try to kill you because you know how this chick does. Hashtag spoilers. <laughs> you can see at the bottom where it shows like the members that are online right now. So if you're like, hey, I want to communicate with other fans of Doki Doki or any fandom, you've got the live right there. You can see there's 337 people live right now and you can see what they're up to. I see some are chatting right now, some are in the voice chat, some are playing quizzes, voting on polls. There is always something to do here. And all of this content, these are from fans of the game who are jumping in and having conversations or even like fan art. Oh, there's even a poem that someone made for Sayori. Oh, somebody cosplayed as Monica. And we can also jump into the chat room, see what people are chatting about. I'm gonna say, hey everyone. But you can even do like a voice chat. That's really cool. Oh look, someone said, hey. Hello. Someone just followed me. That's cool. There's a share folder. What's one? Oh, like all the photos and stuff that people can add. They've got like a memes tab that you can check out all the different memes that people have made. Let's see, when it's your first time playing DDLC and the game starts getting creepy, then just Monica appears. This was so me during my stream. Okay, looks like they have like a Christmas challenge event that's going on. We have four categories categories in which all members with different specialties can participate in. Oh, that's cool. So you can do art for like Natsuki. And there's like a bunch of things that you can win. Like you can win money on here, it looks like. So many things that you could be a part of. Check out the link in the description box below and follow me. My username will be down below as well. Now, onto the video. Let's see what happens if we get close to Natsuki instead of Yuri. Um, I've never, I, I've played this game on a live stream, and on the live stream, I got close to Yuri, and I kind of love Sayori in the cold. As we know, the beginning starts off with Sayori. I'm gonna skip to the part where we get to the school, okay? So, we're in the classroom, we're at the literature club, meeting them all for the first time. I'm not sure if there's a choice you can make in here that will affect whether you'll be closer to Natsuki or not, but I'm gonna play it through. If there is anything, I'll zero in on it. Anything else will be sped through. Let's get into it. <laughs> of writing the poem. I'm going to only choose words that I know will work for Natsuki. I'm not gonna choose, or I'm gonna try not to choose any that work for Sayori, or for um, Monica, or for Yuri. So we're gonna do Natsuki words only. So sunset, okay, that was Sayori, so that didn't work at all. Sparkle, that's Sayori. These aren't working for, wait, where's um, swimsuit? Okay, swimsuit works for Natsuki. Uh, I've gotta be a little bit better. Uh, I guess waterfall. There we go. All right, all right. Fireflies. No, that's Sayori. Oh, goodness. Uh, broken, extreme, disaster, vivid, peaceful, feather. I don't know what words to choose for, for, um, oh my gosh, for Natsuki. Oh, crap. Okay, we gotta try to do more of these in, uh, stuff for, for Sayori. I'm trying to do Natsuki. Okay, let me see. Games. All right, that works. They gotta be like even the most simplest cheeks. Okay, that worked. Candy. Okay, that worked. 
Lollipop, all right, all right, all right. Ocean, nope, that didn't work. I feel like some of these words, strawberry, yes. Some of these words I feel don't fit for, for um, Natsuki. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say giggle, yes, yes. Bunny, yes, yes. M milk, okay, yes, awesome. Bubbles, yes. All right, all right. Oh, anime would have worked for her too. I should have chose anime. I should have chose anime. Okay, let's see. Puppy. Yes. Uh, if anime comes up again, then I'll use it. Boop. Okay. Uncanny music. Oh, that got Sayori. Let's see, let's see. Glad to see I didn't run away. Let's see what this next day holds. Um, we'll come back. I want to see what they think about my poem. If it's more... Natsuki. Natsuki, okay. Exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Yes, I think doing the poem in her her way. We're getting to talk with Natsuki. Talk it with Natsuki, okay. In case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is going to just mess it up? Nasuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. Okay. So he is, my character is into manga. Alright, I gotcha. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at, at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume of ma uh, manga amidst, uh, amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious? I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She turns up to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box that she's a, she the box that she's admiring. Parfait Girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. <laughs> if you're gonna judge me, you can do it through the glass on that door. Oh, mean like get out. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging you. I'm judging anything. I'm really excited because I didn't get to play this part with Natsuki, so I'm excited to kind of actually see what's gonna unfold in doing this with Natsuki. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, a why. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact. Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Does that seem familiar at all? It's exceedingly... Mo? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Let me see. Urban Dictionary. What, what does Mo mean? Mo is a, ta a term used to... Do Find an associate, person, homeboy, homegirl, originally used in uh, Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. I don't think that's what these people meant. <laughs> I don't think. All right, I'm just going to continue. I don't think that's what these people meant because ain't nobody in here. Okay, don't just stand there. <laughs> Awa? Awa? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She passed the ground next to her, signal sig signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Up, oh, look at her face. Don't, don't just say that. You make me feel weird about it. Asuki crosses her arms and scotches an, an inch or scooches an inch away from me. Sorry, I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly, particularly, particularly a bad thing. 
Mm. Now we're gonna get with Natsuki. Gonna get with Natsuki. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. Ah! I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm. You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. What? Similarities, you dig? Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it was, it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Okay, he's really get, going in on this, isn't he? So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Yikes. Well, obviously, you think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things, like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's all, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they all get into their backstories and when some romance starts to happen. Like this is all foreshadowing, foreshadowing for this game. I love stuff like this. You're basically telling us the game. That's really what makes it so good. Yeah, it's the later half of this game that makes the game really good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, uh, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Never underestimate. That's okay. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? A what? <laughs> Why does he like... Ugh. Oh, is it kind of like the sound that Zelda makes when he like gets hit or when he's running or riding the horse and he stops or he runs into a rock or something like, Ugh. Ugh. I don't okay it sounds a little adultish when I say it so I'm just gonna be like oh uh, that's what I'm gonna stick with oh da Natsuki gives me a little shove I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power hmm good save uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking this is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah! Why does that matter? It doesn't, I was just curious. Since you're, you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got into this manga. Coincidence? I think not. Like, I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. Manga. Manga, manga. How do you guys say it? Let me know. I feel bad for anyone that it, that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. Yeah, I'm glad he's smart enough to know that. I guess that explains Nasuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick from, a manga that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh, here we are with her. She's so freaking cute. Oh, that's so cute. And she very clever, clever, lowly, clever, clever, okay. She did a nice job making a zigzag part in the middle of her hair, causing this bob style and this bang to the side. This clip that she has here is really cute. Or is it the ribbon? All right, enough about her hair. Let's look at this. We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sitting, are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so, I guess it's fun sharing something with you, something you like with someone else. I, I know how that feels. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? Hmm? You don't? Uh, look at her eyes. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you show your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? 
The eye moments can be a little bit creepy, especially when I'm not expecting it. Jeez. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up with them w without them being all like, uh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> that's a good question. Which part is accurate? Is it, are you saying, are you agreeing that I'm a loser? Because you can't tell me, I can say I'm a loser, but you can't tell me I'm a loser. No. I mean, if I feel like that, I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Look at her. My guy's kind of smooth. He's kind of hashtag smooth. Oh, duh. He's smooth. Jeez, that's, not, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or not? Or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. Why is she laughing? I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. My Nori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. All right, all right, we 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 put in the groundwork. All right, smooth things over. Then we're gonna be smooth. Hashtag smooth. Oh da. It's stark contrast to our usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feelings you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. That's good. Oh, she popped up and she scared the crap out of me. Okay. Okay, everyone. Uh, are you all ready with, the, with today's poems? Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though, you do look pretty cozy over there. Uh, uh. Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright, guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said, don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Uh, is that, re is that really alright? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time reading this. <laughs> oh, hashtag savage. Well, no, not really savage, but I get how he's, he's being honest. He's being honest with us, the, the gamers, the users, the audience. Although, he don't want to be honest with her. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. Ninja, what? And if it gets banked, I'll kill you, okay? By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing that Suki's enthusiastic face. My guy seems pretty good, he's pretty nice. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? He's honest, he's honest. All right then. I stand up. I want to see if this part's going to be different. This is the part where everybody exchanges their poems and we're reading each other's poems. I want to see if everybody's response to my poem is different. All right, we're going to go to Natsuki first because I want to build my clout with my girl. So it's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Awesome. All right, what does she think? Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. Really? First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Chick what? 
Then what's the point of sharing the- Yeah, in the first place. I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. Ah, because he was trying to write more stuff for her. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be comfortable, more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. She didn't like ours the first few times. Like, she's like, it's all right and stuff, but she was, she really likes ours. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, ha. Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. Oh, that's hilarious. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy for being good, babe girl. Don't worry. I got you. That's warm Gatorade. Powerade, I mean. It's warm. Mm -mm. No, no, no. So in other words, you're saying you liked it? Urk. She Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Oh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must, must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. Hopefully it's a win, because this trick is confusing. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Girl, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Her poem is the same. Her poem is the same. She talks about the different animals and what they can do. Alright, so let's see if there's a difference in um, the way that Sayori, Yuri, and uh, Monica receive my poem. Okay, so she likes it. Yeah, I think she's overreacting, but Let's see. So Yuri doesn't really know what to say. She's just really happy that I'm participating and stuff. All right, so we get her poem. Is this one different? The way you go through the blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? A rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. But it wasn't for you. If, if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> is this one different? Because this one seems like it's better than the first one she had. Let me know down below for those people who know. Alright, let's go to Yuri. I want to give it to Monica last and see what happens. Okay, give me the poem. Thank you. Ghost Under the Light. This is, this is the same poem that we read from the last time. This is the same. Okay. Alright, let's give it to Monica, see what Monica says. Because Yuri was just basically, she said that um, Natsuki's bias, she kind of caught herself with saying that. And then we kind of, that was pretty much the end of the conversation. So let's see what Monica has to say. Yes, having a good time. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions. Okay, we've seen this part. I like it, AY. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, oh jeez, no, no, it kind of makes me think of something that Suki would write, and she's a good writer too, so take this uh, that as a compliment, All right, that's nice that she's complimenting, if you say so, yep, by any chance have you read anything by Shel Silverstein, no, wait, in real life, have I, is Shel Silverstein, I remember there was a, um, a, an Arthur, an author with the last name Silverstein, but I don't remember the first name. I wonder if it's Shell Silverstein. That's like where the sidewalk ends. Is that all? Yes, that is Shell Silverstein. Yes, where the sidewalk ends was one of my favorite. Oh, I'm looking at my webcam. One of my favorite books growing up when I was like, I loved, loved, loved that book. I can't remember a thing from it, but I remember I asked for it for Christmas after seeing it in the library, and I had it. I wonder if my mom still has it. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad, which is true. And sometimes they're only a few lines long, which is also true. They might even let, feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. 
So you're saying that Mitsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Okay. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. Okay. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning um, through. Okay. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. So that's a new bit, her com her comparing Natsuki to Shel Silverstein. Okay, I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way that kind of style, uh, style fits you. Um, everyone's a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't forget yourself. Don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Okay, now she's gonna give me my, her poem. We'll see if it's the same. Poem a wall, yes, yes. We know that's the same. All right, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch the expression, their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with the language? Uh, um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Ugh. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but okay, I know where this is gonna lead and I don't like this because I don't wanna, I feel like Natsuki is overreacting, but I wanna see what happens if we side with Natsuki, but I feel really bad for Yuri because she wasn't trying to be mean or anything. She was saying that it was cute. Although that was kind of like side shade, but I do feel like uh, Natsuki is kind of overdoing her reaction to this. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and AY did too. So based on that, I, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. She is so, like, Yuri can be, Yuri can really cut you with being very nice and calm and collect. And Awe liked my poem, oh, and Awe liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up, oh crap. This is where Ish gets real. Music stopped. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not what I... Like, see, she's being mean, and I have to side with Natsuki because I gotta see how the game is gonna be different, but I don't want to. All right, so she's being mean. Maybe you're just maybe you're just jealous that Aaron appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Yikes. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I, no, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. You see how she's kind of her? Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as AY started showing up. Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little. This does not involve you. I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. AY, she's, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, AY. But wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. 
Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, AY? We gotta agree with Natsuki. Alright, let's go to Natsuki. Let's see what happens. Yuri, you're really talented. Well, but Natsuki has a point. I think that I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah! Natsuki, please, chick, calm down, please. I need her to sit down somewhere. Shows how much you know. That's not Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing, and sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glanced over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah, Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that, but barely audible. Yuri? Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said, so you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey, it's not like you need to apologize for me, AY. Sheesh! Natsuki takes a breath. I, the thing about, uh, Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Atsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. <clears throat> anyway, the thing about your boobs, I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayori. I'll go make some tea. Uh, I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Well, now we're past that, A-Y. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Um, I'm gonna end the gameplay here. Uh, there's already been a lot of differences from the first poem, from writing my first poem, and how my relationship with Natsuki is, and siding with Natsuki. So I do wanna see how the rest of the game is. If you know with the change of being on Natsuki's side, what's gonna happen, don't spoiler anything in the description box, or I mean in the, the comment section of like any of this, the new changes or whatever. But yes, I'm really excited to see this newfound relationship with Natsuki. Don't forget to check out the Amino app in the description box below and follow me on Amino. My username is down there. And we can also chat through theories and stuff like that in the Amino app. Link down below. I love you guys as always. And, oh wait, I'm missing my whole thing. If you like this video, hit the like, out of the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I love you guys as always. And until next time, please, happy holidays.